uh, the Dalai Lama also said at one point, he was like, we got to keep uh, Europe for Europeans. Yeah, he was like, too. too many that refugees is, are coming in. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, what the fuck are you saying, man? Like, hey, Dalai Lama, <laughs> just let the kids sit on your lap. That's enough. Yeah, hey, dude, how about don't do that? Quit smooching the kids in general. Yeah, don't l- tell a kid to suck your tongue. Yeah. Is there a... <laughs> Especially uh, not on camera. That seems like there should be jail time for something like that. Like, what is that? I don't think he can get <clears> in trouble. In Tibet, sticking out one's tongue is known as a traditional greeting stemming from a 9th century myth about an unpopular king with a black tongue. <laughs> His tongue when the was king doing died, the Tibetans reeled, revealing their tongues to show they had to become his incarnate. Whoa. Tongue sucking does not to be a part of the tradition. <laughs> That's where you cross the line. <laughs> yeah. If they just stuck tongues at each other, bro, you you would have skated scot-free. The PR team is working hard spin on that one. <laughs> hard spin. We Wait gotta... till Rachel Maddow gets a hold of it. <laughs> I know. She'll kind of win. She'll find a way. It happened in February. And it's, it came out like a week, couple days ago, which is kind of weird. So it's a hit campaign mm. against the llama? Yeah, it's like a few weeks old. I saw well, him talk once. Sometimes it just takes a while for something like that to catch. Oh, sometimes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but today. I mean, if it was Don Lemon, I would say, yeah, they're trying to get rid of him. <laughs> but it was is the Dalai Lama. Yeah, I, don't I don't think know. they can I, get him out. I have no idea why it would have came out. How do you get out the Dalai Lama? The Dalai Lama was born. Like, if it was like, I don't even mean to pick on Don Lemon. I mean, saying in like someone who's on television. It was some like, but even then, it's like people. If they, if that information's available, like if someone look how many people were there. Yeah, that's obviously like a cell phone footage, right? Is yeah. that what it is? Well, it was a fundraiser for some kind of like Indian tech company. How wild! Yeah. How wild! Uh huh. Just be kissing a kid in front of everybody, which is already too much. <laughs> tongue kissing. Yeah. Suck on my tongue. What are you talking about? I've never had a kid that close to my own face where I could say suck on my tongue. Isn't it interesting? It's interesting, like, what we choose to consider intimate contact. Because hands, like, if he had that boy's hand in his hand, and he put his hand over it and said, I wish you a wonderful, happy life. Yeah. You're, you're a beautiful human being, and just go out there and be kind to everybody. Everybody, but that's cool. It's He's, a sweet gesture. Yeah, it's a sweet gesture. Mm-hmm. When you, like, fully hug someone, you can hug them for a couple seconds. Yeah. But you got to let go. Uh-huh. You can't, like, stand there for 10 minutes just, like, rubbing their back people go hey 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 dalai lama let the kid go hey, hey your robe you is getting violated tented, the dolly. time yeah, yeah. You, you broke the time clock <laughs> there's a time clock that goes when someone hugs uh-huh you get like a real good friend it's like you got like a 10 second countdown. let it linger yeah. 10 second countdown uh-huh. 10 seconds is a long time to be hugging someone oh it's a like, lot ready here's 10 seconds and go so here we are we're, we're touching chest to chest our genitals are near each other we're I can hugging. smell your neck right now. We're still hugging. Uh huh. All right, now we're done hugging. Oh man, that's a kind of a hug. That's a long. But th- I've done hug. that. I've done a ten second hug with a good friend. Sure, it feels good. But now with a little boy that I don't know in the mm-hmm. middle of nowhere. Also, how did that boy Look, get don't in? Don't show me this. I don't want to see this again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't want to see this. That He's... boy who snapped back like a like a cobra, ready to fucking strike. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, why why are you making me suck your tongue, you old fucking weirdo? It's like when the noodle hits your lips finally, and it like snaps like the sound. But what I'm getting at is like it's inter- it's interesting that like kissing is such an intimate act. It, like it clearly is. But I wonder how that got even got started. Like people's breath must have been horrible. Oh, back terrible! In the day. Rotting meat in there. Oh God! Oh. No, no dentists. Yeah, your just... teeth all fell out. Uh huh. And they most like they got knocked out. You probably got infections from cracked teeth from oh, getting yeah. hit with a rock. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. I bet a lot of people died from like mouth infections. Well, yeah, and you're shit. like trying to eat everything you find. Yeah, you don't even know what's edible. Yeah. Uh huh. And so... when did they start kissing? I don't know. Let's find that out. Let's yeah. take a guess. When do you think uh, kissing was invented? What if it was like 1900? Yeah, whenever <laughs> France became a country. <laughs> what if like nobody kissed until like the 1900s? It was a revolution. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess it's like some Mesopotamia shit. For sure. Yeah, I'm going to guess that it started like thousands Cradle of years Cradle of ago. civilization. Yeah. I'd but... say pre-pyramids. Pre? Whoa. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Strong guess. What else did you have to do back then? Be, make a toothbrush? Like, why would you kiss somebody? That seems crazy. People We're just figuring out fuck. what holes are safe. That's you know? true. Yeah. But you could wash the body off, like eating pussy and blowjobs and stuff. That kind of makes sense. You just want to get crazy. I think blowjobs but... happened before sex did. I bet you went mouth first. It. No. There was a fur-covered hole down there. You're yeah, going to try and jam up in that watch thing? Watch chimps. Chimps fuck each other. They oh, I've watched chimps blow fuck each other. Joe. <laughs> All right. I bet you have. Oh, yeah. I bet you have. I've been down that so road. Let's, let's, so your guess is pre-dynastic Egypt. So. Sure. 5,000, I just said pyramids, but yeah. 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 Well, that's like 5,000 years ago. Okay. Like, supposedly. They don't even really know. Um, what do you think? Jamie? I've got, what's, I've got 
got two answers. I was trying to figure out. Which but what was right. your question? I didn't did you, have. You didn't I, have one. No. no. Um, the first answer Google gives back is the first recorded kiss is 1500 BC, which oh. sounds recent. Interesting. It's very recent. Right below that is a link to a longer piece that says some researchers believe that kissing began millions of years ago as a result of mouth to mouth feeding. Ooh. Interesting. And then that's going into like, well, why didn't Interesting. everybody do it then? Because you had to chew the food for the child? Do you know that you can get syphilis from kissing people? <laughs> no. I, I didn't either. <laughs> I saw it on a TikTok video. Must be true. How dirty is that mouth? It was a it was a uh, Instagram reels. That's what it was. Um, oh. No, he, he was like having this guy standing there, and all these different girls were coming by and kissing him, and he was pointing out all the different types of diseases that you can get from mouth kissing someone. Yeah, herpes and syphilis and gonorrhea, all these different things what? you can get from mouth kissing people. I thought it was just herpes. That was my biggest fear. I, I thought so too. This Somehow guy I fucking, dodged that bullet. This guy figured out a way to scare the fuck out of everybody, and they're never going to kiss again. I'm going to keep kissing. <laughs> I'm still smooching my old lady when I well, get home. Well, you're married. Yeah. But if you're some wild dude at the bar, you might die. <laughs> Secondly, kissing can also transmit syphilis, oh, which may present as an oral can. What is that? Canker? Canker sore? Yeah, canker sore? Uh, T. Palladium can invade mucous membranes through abrasion. Therefore, oral chan chan canker. 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 Yeah. canker. It is canker, right? I think can so. result from kissing with a syphilis patient. Well. Therefore, kissing with a oh well, the syphilis patient. Right. If you're that horny and you're in the fucking hospital <laughs> yeah. with them, like come on, just one kiss. That deleted <laughs> scene from Patch Adams. <laughs> He's smooching all the sailors when they get back from... <laughs> He's like, they don't have much time to live. Yeah. I'm trying to make them feel better. Yeah, they need this. They give them some love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? You're on a deathbed. I would smooch someone on their deathbed. Easy. Yeah, it, yeah especially if you love them. Yeah, you, you have worried to. about a little syphilis. Mm -mm. They cure that now. Also, there's no way that I'm not dying before my wife. So, you know. <laughs> that's... Is your wife healthy? Oh, yeah. What is that supposed to mean, Joe? <laughs> not that healthy, Sam. <laughs> I'm okay. I think you're a comedian. I am.